Mastering Workplace Emails and Letters. Know Your Types. Hello, English language learners. Today, we're going to dive deep into the world of professional communication with a focus on workplace emails and letters. As an essential part of our jobs, understanding how to properly write these can have a significant impact on your professional image. So, we're going to discuss different types of workplace emails and letters and their purposes. Emails have become a primary mode of communication in the modern workplace. They're used for a multitude of reasons, and their tone and style can change depending on the purpose. Subsection 1. Informational emails. Informational emails are often used to share information or updates about a project, new guidelines, or important events. They are usually concise, clear, and informative. Subsection 2. Request emails. Request emails are used when you need something from a colleague or superior, such as information, support, or approval. Be clear about what you're asking for and why it's needed. Subsection 3. Reply or follow-up emails. Reply or follow-up emails are responses to previous emails. This can be an answer to a query, an acknowledgement of receipt, or just a check-in to ensure tasks are moving forward as planned. While emails have taken over much of our workplace communication, traditional letters still hold a place, especially for formal and significant matters. Subsection 1. Cover Letters Cover letters are sent along with job applications. They are a chance for potential employees to introduce themselves and explain why they would be a good fit for the position. Subsection 2. Recommendation Letters Recommendation letters are formal documents praising a person's work ethic and skills, usually written by a superior or colleague. They can significantly influence hiring decisions or promotions. Subsection 3. Resignation letters. Resignation letters are a formal way to announce your intent to leave a position. These should be respectful and appreciative, even if you're leaving due to unpleasant circumstances. Now you have a basic understanding of the types of emails and letters in the workplace. Remember, each type has its unique style, tone, and purpose. Knowing when and how to use them can make your communication more effective and enhance your professional image. We hope this video has been helpful. Keep practicing, and you'll be a master of workplace communication in no time.